pets do not go through a heart attack zero koi okay. heart attack nahi hota hai the difference between a pet's heart and a, a, a dog's a, sorry a human heart is if they have this two major blood vessels which are branching only this little dogs branching is more than 300 times the human branching is what kind of heart diseases occur in animals two this one is the disease of the muscle of the heart and the second important thing is the disease of the valves going to the next question uh, what are the what are the tools or techniques that are uh, commonly used in uh, veterinary cardiology so regarding the tools and techniques that how to identify a cardiac patient first is use all your senses i tell it's about the physical examination aapne koi cheez as a pet parent for you to know it's very important that anything that is recurrent anything that is recurrent is very important to you so for for a veterinarian i should see about from a distance how is my patient standing how is my patient breathing and is it finding difficulty to sit or is it something that um uh you know um uh, causing you know breathless breathlessness of any kind the second important tool and i feel one of the best inventions that mankind has made is a stethoscope mm. it's the best tool to me listening to the heart is the best music in the world it's not beautiful hota hai na yash it's amazingly great to listen to a heart i'm take the telling this things in the perspective of a veterinarian so and then heart is a very beautiful organ it's a very specialized organ it has got its own electrical system isliye bina brain ke kuch bole apne aap pumping karta hai so to know the electrical functioning of the heart you do an ecg hmm. right so and then okay fine i looked at the heart i looked the electrical system of the heart now i want to get into the heart and see so that for that you know abhi to maine aapko ab model dikha diya hai correct but live animal mein kya karungi so we we use heart ultrasound right it is called as an echocardiography echo is the sound waves cardio is the heart any echocardiography means i'm trying to send the sound waves into the body right. and trying to Catch. get back The as the reflection yeah. and that reflection is shown on my screen as the image it's converted into an image and it's showing me so heart ultrasound will give me the functioning of the heart in terms of how whether is there uniformity in contraction or how is the chamber size is the left side of the heart bigger or the right side of the heart bigger how are my valves are they beautiful and flat or are they laddu and like not moving much or there is no valve or there is a valve which has a defected valve by birth anything like that anything or if there is water around the heart all this information i get through an echocardiogram so basically it is said that heart ultrasound is the gold standard to assign which stage my heart patient is in. however to know if a patient is a heart patient or not a heart patient not everyone needs an heart ultrasound for the staging of the patient you need it lekin identify karne ke liye aapko zarurat nahi hai as a pet parent you yourself is recurrent anything that is making your patient breathlessness aapko apne kan veterinarian se consult karna hai ki whether you need a specialty consult do you need to look into the heart in my opinion i tell all my pet parents jab wo annual vaccination ke liye aate hain jab unka physical examination karti hu main unko ye bolti hu आप मुझे when you are three years, your patient is a three years, puppy, आपको मुझसे ये सवाल करना है आपका जब पांच साल का हो जाए आपको मुझसे सवाल करने मैं भूल जाऊंगी वो कितने साल का है आपको नहीं भूल सो दिस इज द बेस्ट सिस्टम यू नो टू कीप इन चेक थैंक्स मैडम एनी एनी पर्टिकुलर ब्रीड्स और स्पीशीज दैट आर मोर प्रोन टू डेवलपिंग हार्ट डिसीज Thank you for asking that question. It's a wonderful question, and um, I have always found um, uh, this to be such a valuable information when it comes to the pet parents. I told you there are two different kind of heart diseases, two classes. One is the valve disease, and the other is the muscle disease. All the medium and the large size dogs, for example, 
um, Labradors, Golden Retrievers, all that size, 25-30 plus size ka jo dogs hota hai, the big right. dogs, they go through the muscle disease mostly. Okay. Muscle disease, yani ka heart flabby ho jata hai, elasticity muscle ka kam ho jata hai. All those which are toy breeds, less than 10 kgs, less than 12 kg dogs, they go through the valve disease. Valve kharab ho jata hai, it becomes a lado. Okay. okay, so basically you can consider that the small breeds or the toy breed dogs go through the valve disease, medium size and the large dogs go through muscle disease. However, any dog can go through a valve degeneration when it is in older stages. You have to understand as they keep on aging, valves definitely kharab hota hai because they are the most sensitive parts, most sturdy and sensitive both. Okay. And another important thing is, irrespective of the breed, irrespective of the breed, any dog can go through a birth defect. There are a lot of birth heart defects. Okay. Yeah. How do you identify as a pet parent? Mereko kaise pata chale ki mere puppy mein birth defect nahi hai? Okay. First thing is your veterinarian should listen to the heart when you go as a puppy and should be able to tell you this does not look right to me. This does not look normal to me. So remind me to check, listen to the heart again after three months or four months. So yeah, aap, as a pet parent, I abhi aapko bore you because probably veterinarians are kind of now getting aware but as a pet parent you can ask the veterinarian so can you listen to the heart of my patient my puppy please is everything okay and every time you go for the vaccination or the booster shots you know and it is 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 normal hai ki nahi, to batai sakte. So those these things are very very crucial and as a pet parent you can give us very valuable information regarding this. Ma'am, uh, one just question out of curiosity. What is an average uh, beats per uh, minute of a dog? Okay, so um, uh, the, the question that you asked me is um, what is the heartbeat? You know, it's a average, fantastic yeah. question. As a, as a pet parent getting that information is wonderful. So small toy breeds, they have a higher range of heartbeat, anywhere between 120 to 140 or even 160 in normal certain. However, the medium size or the larger the dog size is the lesser the number breeds. Okay. For example, like a Labrador can have approximately 90 or 100, sometimes 105, 110 is also normal at certain breeds. But 100, I would take it as an average. Okay. It's it's the opposite. And cats, cats 200 to 220 is also normal. Yeah, exactly. That's a lot. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, so we we spoke about the diseases. Uh, so like, what are the available treatments for these cardiac diseases? Like, how how does you know a veterinarian go around uh, deciding about what is to be given and the procedures along with that as well? Unfortunately, um, in most of the part of the world, not India. Okay. Mm-hmm. Um, most of the part of the world, everything is medically managed only through medicines. Okay. Um, um, very few procedures are being done. Uh, surgical procedures are being done, I think as far as my knowledge goes. Uh, basically, it's been done in Japan. Dr. Masami Uh is the wonderful person. I have met him. You know, I literally pleaded him, requested him to give me a training where they have their own uh, uh, regulations for the government. Okay. Uh, but he is doing a lot of uh, beautiful work. I met him, wonderful person. He has a beautiful clinic. And he does, he, uh, so when I met him, he operated a 2 kg dog who has a heart size of a coin, a 2 rupee coin, and his hands didn't move at all, only his fingers worked. He did the magic, it's amazingly wonderful. And second is, uh, there, are, there are surgeries going around to repair the valve in, uh, um, in expensive surgeries though but in India I would say I am managing uh, my heart patients everywhere in most of the part of our country we are managing only through the medicines some places they have tried installing a pacemaker in the dog we do not have dog specific pacemakers but in India a couple of places they have tried uh, 
um, installing the pacemakers as well. So it is mostly the medicines and trust me, you can easily manage a patient with the medicines. But the condition is identifying the stage of the patient. Second important thing is trying to maintain the patient at the same stage and only a pet parent can help in that. Your commitment can only help me maintain my patient. Right. So your right. commitment of giving the medicine, your commitment of having a regular follow-up because it's a progressive heart disease. If my patient, I'm identifying him to be in, in the middle heart disease, approximately the age of seven years or eight years, I can't expect him to uh, be, you know, a, a nine-year-old at the same stage if I identify, both are not the same. Because a seven-year-old patient for another year might say stay the same, but a nine-year-old patient may not say, stay the same for more than six months. Because aging, it becomes spiral as they come into the last 25% of their age. It's a very fast spiral. Yeah. Uh, Ma'am, when it comes to aging, what is what is the impact that, that it has on... You have already answered this question, but if you can go a little in depth, uh, how, how does it impact uh, the cardiovas cardiovascular system? And uh, what are specific considerations that should be made for senior pets with cardiac conditions? Fantastic question. Again, I would say, um, see, um, uh, let me just give you an example and explain. For example, if it is a Pomeranian mm -hmm. who is at the age of 10 years and is coughing recurrently, has been a little breathless and is coming to me. So, um, I give the medicine, I ask them to come down for a follow-up after six weeks. If, you know, okay, fine. If you will not believe the kind of response that parents give me. It's an incredibly great response. That's great. But if a 10-year-old Labrador is coming to me and he is breathless and he is coughing, or he has a pot bellied appearance, it's not the same. Because in toy breeds, the aging process is supposed to start after 13, 14 years. In a Labrador, or is on a home cooked food. I'm not a bad promoter of home cooked food, but I'm telling you, if he is on a more on a high carbohydrate diet, mm. aging will be much faster in my experience most lately much faster than a pet who is on a high protein diet or maybe a commercial food or maybe even like some people they give only meat you know boiled meat or very less of carbs some vegetables and all or maybe process slow japan okay. i'm not denying that some people they start giving protein powders and everything by the age of the five and a half six years i recommend a lot of protein powders um, so we need to understand the aging of a patient a uh, 10 year old Pomeranian is not equal to a 10 year old Labrador. Please understand that. Second important thing, a major observation, a major lacuna where we are going through is the um, just subtle changes hota na, chuta chuta the changes hota hai, aging process ka, wo hum notice nahi karte. And we call it as, yaar, age ho raha hai na, to slow ho raha hai. Nahin. Usko ignore mat kijiye. Hmm. These subtle changes are very important. Why? Because it can hint towards the heart, it can hint towards the lungs, or towards the bone and joints. You know, these are the small things you need to take care of. Let me tell you a very simple exercise to understand if your patient has some stage or the other of the heart disease. Okay? jab ghar jaoge. Apna puppy in deep sleep mein ho, right in nice good deep sleep. You see the depression there, yeah. the U-shaped depression. Count the number of breaths there. Either the stomach going inside or coming up. Koi bhi ek side count karna hai. Okay. Take a stopwatch, count it for one whole minute. If you're not able to count, don't worry. Click a video for one whole minute and then you count it. Now, if while the puppy is sleeping, if the count is more than 30, mm -hmm. you need to take it to the vet. More than 30 is not normal. 
on an average i'm giving you the number ideally i say more than 20 25 is not normal but still it's not normal this is called as sleeping respiratory rate a very crucial information for the veterinarian ek baar mein nahi hota hai na don't worry do teen din karo when the patient is in very deep sleep do teen baar karo teen char baar karo or maybe you can ab maan lijiye aapka mera every 6 to 8 months you can make a record also any any particular age group uh, jisme ye jo aapne number bola hai jo which is you know anything beyond 30 so less than let us say last 25% of your of a patient's life last 25% okay like right, is an old age is right. a geriatric age right. usme ye number mere liye bahut important hota hai okay maan lijiye labrador hai 7 7 and 1/2 years old is the cut off hmm pomeranian hai pomeranians are expected minimum to live up to 15 years on an average right. so 10 saal mere liye important ho jata hai theek hai but if you have a puppy and you feed him well ma'am you are giving him royal canin troplan ye wo sab giving them good proteins and his whole time on the supplements it's good but ma'am khata bhi na chai growth nahi aata bony bony hai or if you have a puppy and you feel that thoda sa chal ke thak jata hai ma'am itna mota bhi nahi hai pata nahi isko itna jaldi exhaustion kyu hota hai it's a trigger it's a trigger trust me second important thing there are certain breeds like cavalier king charles spaniel or a boxer a great dane a doberman a doberman pinscher or um, you know um, uh, dalmatians this breeds need to get a heart evaluation done in less than one year i see so many pugs coming into my clinic all of them eight yeah i know i know more than 8 years old pugs aate hain बाप रे गेट में से आते रहते हैं मैं मेरे रिसेप्शनिस्ट को बोलती हूँ भाई देख ले पगाफिकल्ट फॉर देम टू ब्रीथ आई हैव ऑब्सर्व पग्स गो थ्रू अ डिफरेंट काइंड ऑफ अ हार्ट डिजीज वेट दार्ट गेट्स थिकर एंड थिकर एंड थिकर ओके दे बिकम ब्रेथलेस दंपिंग कैपेसिटी गोज डाउन सो दिस काइंड ऑफ हार्ट डिजीज इज कॉल्ड एज अट्रोपिक कार्डियो मायापति so this basically is more common in humans than in animals is it But, is it true ma'am that you know uh, pugs have been like certain set of governments have asked people to restrain from breeding pugs because of these heart problems i am the promoter of that yes yeah. there are certain countries i believe they have even banned it why because they have such sharp yeah. nose the bre- their bre- all the ch- chinese nose or the the stumpy nose dogs no they're called as a brachycephalics we should all stop encouraging people to go for it you know it's wrong because apan log jitna kharidenge utna breeding hoga shit so can you imagine the extent of breeding that has happened during the lockdown period for shit so they become breathless so easily not only pugs i'm telling you pugs shit so uh, french bulldogs as such the regular bulldogs man it's so difficult for them to live it why why you know encourage Uh, um, you know, pain. Yeah. It's not easy for a pet parent. It's so difficult to see that the pet is going through so much. You know, I have yeah. such wonderful pet parents. I'm telling you, Yash. Um, you'll not believe. For months together, I get a message from them every single day. I get an update on the pet, and most of them are pug parents. So just imagine they're so vigilant. Why? Because the patient is all the time stressed out. all the time in pain so yes the certain countries have done that and i would love to say pet to pet parents please try to discourage the breeding of brachycephalics please do that 